What's up guys, I'm Wiser, and today I'm here to give you my top legends that I would like to see in the game. And in this particular video, we're going to be covering the Baltimore Ravens. Now in the previous video, which I did last week, I'm sorry, I should have been doing this every day. Uh, we did the Patriots, I hopefully will have a link in the description for the playlist of this as we add along to the series. Now. I have to give you guys a rundown on how I'm going to be doing this and, you know, just some things to think about as we go forward with making these lists. So let's get into that. First things first, this is not an all time top teams list. For example, this is not a uh, these are the top five Ravens and they got to be in Madden. No, it's not that. Um, another thing that we got to think about is if the legends are already in the game, there's no need for me to include them on the list because they are already in the game. Uh, another thing to note is the quarterback situation. For the most part, I will not be putting quarterbacks on a lot of these teams, even if they are the top guys. Mainly, the reason for that mainly is because when it comes to ultimate team, guys usually want dual threat quarterbacks with big arms. Um, so... If we got a guy like Drew Bledsoe or something like that, people aren't really going to, on a Saturday afternoon, they're not going to drop a bunch of money on bundles to try to pull Drew Bledsoe. It's just not going to happen. Good thing the Ravens aren't exactly known for having the best of quarterbacks. Another thing to note, when it comes to wide receivers and running backs, some might be left off the list because we already have really, really good wide receivers in the game. And there's certain particular running back styles that guys like to have when it comes to ultimate team. Now, can I include somebody in a list like Derek Mason when we got somebody like Randy Moss? No, you can't because when it comes time for them to do like an ultimate legend, Derek Mason, no body's going to really want a guy like that when you have someone like a Randy Moss. And I'm just throwing around names, for example. Um, when it comes to running backs, guys like one of two type of backs, depending on the type of year Madden is having. Um, one being a speed back and one being a power back. There's not really all that much middle ground. And later on in the year, guys really tend to want more speed than anything. So there's going to be some running backs left off of these lists. Now, hopefully I've done enough explaining. Let's get into my top five. Now, in no particular order, I'm going to be starting this list off with Tony Saragusa. Yes, the goose. Now, I was kind of struggling on whether or not I should put this guy's name on a list. But it pretty much came down to Tony Saragusa, Tony Saragusa still being somewhat relevant in the NFL, uh, he does his sideline reporting. Uh, he's on NFL Fox He on some Sundays. He, he does all of that. Now, that's just in his after years, right? But during his years, he was a pretty good defensive tackle. He was more of a nose tackle. His stats don't really jump off the page at you. But that's because he was usually commanding three blocks. It, 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 that's just how it was. The guy was just such a big guy he was like i mean he's like he's not haloti nada like don't get me wrong he's not haloti nada but he definitely was a guy that you just had to double and triple team this guy because he was just such a massive force now when it came to saragusa he was more so known for his personality his antics and things like that things that made him stand out um from the rest of the team he gave that defense an identity where they were known as that nasty punch you in the face defense in 2000, back when they won a Super Bowl. He could get down and dirty, but he also made it so that people didn't hate the Ravens. He was a lovable guy. Um, and he gave them that type of identity to kind of offset the nastiness of the Ravens. Next, I am going to go with Adelius Thomas. Adelius Thomas was a pretty much a do it all linebacker. He started out his career as a defensive end, and he just became a hybrid after that. You can pretty much put him at defensive end, outside linebacker, inside linebacker. You can play this guy anywhere. He was great coming off the edge. He had a ton of sacks in his, uh, in his career, especially like over a stretch of about four years. 
This guy was like a sack master coming off the edge at linebacker nonetheless. He also had some pretty decent hands, getting three interceptions. He had a nose for the ball with six fumble recoveries, and he could get to that end zone. He also had three touchdowns in his career. He wasn't necessarily a part of that 2000s Ravens defense when they won a Super Bowl. He was on a team, but he really wasn't really much on the team and didn't really do anything that year uh, due to injury. But the guy was an absolute monster once he got going. And he was a part of that Ravens team going forward, that Ravens franchise going forward as a staple alongside of Ray Lewis. He later spent three years in New England where he pretty much did the same thing. Hybrid linebacker coming off that edge, getting a bunch of sacks. Moving along, we have a guy that was Terrell Suggs before Terrell Suggs. We have Peter Effin Bowyer. Now, Peter Bowyer was an absolute scary monster. He was so fast, so athletic. He was one of those guys that could also do it all. Racking up a ton of sacks over his tenure, over his career. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? This guy had 70 sacks from the linebacker position. He has good size at 6'4", 255. He has pretty good speed. My goodness, he had three years with over 10 sacks and even one year with 15 sacks. On average, this guy was averaging eight to nine sacks a year at the linebacker position. You put that guy alongside of Ray Lewis and Adelius Thomas, you got linebacker you here at Baltimore. It's crazy how good these linebackers were, and he was definitely one of them. Up next, I know how much you guys love cornerbacks. Got to have more cornerbacks in the game, right? We have Chris McAllister, and he has decent size at 6'1". His thing was more so having a lot of speed. He was a really, really good cover corner. He was a decent tackler for the most part, but he was a really good cover corner. Over his career, he racked up 26 interceptions. He had a ton of passes defended. I mean, a ton. I would say on average, when he was healthy, he probably averaged about 12 to 14 pass breakup. This guy always had his hands on the ball. He, he was just hard, hard to get by. And he was a part of that Ravens shellacking of a year in 2000 where he had four interceptions and one return for a touchdown. Chris McAllister was pretty much so a beast and would love to see him in Madden. And rounding off this list, now it's not topping the list, we don't have an order here, but rounding off this list, we have Jamal Lewis, which brings me back to when I said, there's two types of backs people like when it comes to Madden, either a speed back, a guy with speed, or a power back. And this guy combined them both. Jamal Lewis was a power back with breakaway speed. If he gets into the open field, he was extremely hard to bring down. And he had that memorable year where he had over 2,000 yards and 14 touchdowns. Now, he didn't necessarily have too much of a nose for the end zone, but this guy was a work horse. In six years with the Ravens, he had 78 Hundred yards in his first four seasons he went over a thousand yards and then in his fifth season when he didn't have a thousand yards he had 906 followed up with three more years of a thousand yards Jamal Lewis was an absolute beast hell you could even say in his best years it's considerable to beast mode so he was beast mode before beast mode now, he didn't necessarily have his best years when he went over to Cleveland. Uh, the first year, they tried to run him, give him some burn. Almost 300 carries, 1,300 yards. And after that, it started to wear off. The next year, he had 1,002 yards. And then his final year, he had 500 yards. But overall, Jamal Lewis is a back that I would love to see in Madden. So that's all I have for this list and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. All of it helps a lot. Hey, become a part of the team. 
the wiser team. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.